Welcome to another Haunted House review of A Haunted House at Six Flags Great America. This one will be of Gates of Hell. Like I'm going to say in all of my Haunted House videos, um, what I'm going to talk about in this video consists of theming, things I liked, things I did not like, standout scares, unique scares, my experience, and an overall rating of the house. Things I liked. Um, in the house, there was like two tunnels of... Um, like, I, I don't know how to explain, it's like, mm, it's like inflate, it's an inflatable wall, you could say, that you have to push through, and that's really all, and like, you're very compressed, squished, and like, first of all, the house is sort of dark, in my opinion, and you go through it, and you don't know where the hell you're going, if I'm being honest, you know, gates of hell, where the hell are you going, yeah, um, you don't know where you're going, per se, in that, and it's kind of terrifying, because there probably is someone, um, when you're done with that tunnel, someone right outside it, uh, ready to scare you when you get out, um, and you could get lost in it, like, when I go through it, I find myself reaching forward to find somebody in front of me, in front of the group, and, or, or else I'm scared, like, I'm gonna get caught behind someone, and what if that's someone is a scare actor, or what if there's a scare actor behind me, which I've come to find, I don't think any of the scare actors actually go through the inflatable wall section, but it's, it's something I really liked. Things I did not like, um, would have to be the strobe lights at the near beginning of the house, just because when I first went through it, and when I go through it, I, I personally think it's a little bit too long, and it hurt my eyes after uh, a little bit. And I'm like, where am I going? Is it this way, that way? Um, I tried blinking and I still couldn't, like, you know, see much. I know that's, like, the purpose of the strobe lights, but I just didn't like them at first. Thought it was too long. What I just said. Standout scares in Gates of Hell. Um, I think I definitely have to say, uh, near the beginning, before you actually go into, like, a house that's considered, like, a main part of the haunted house, um, you go through, like, uh, an outside portion, and, I don't, it's hard to explain, but, like, you go right in, and there's somebody above you, almost, and I think that is a pretty, uh, standout scare, because you don't expect someone to be above you, and you're like, oh, um, yeah, so, for sure, that's a standout scare for me. Uh, unique scares, um, Unique scares as in, like, scares that you can only find in this house particularly. Um, I think it would have to be an open room with somebody just standing still. Uh, when I went through it recently, there was, like, an open room with, like, a stage, per se, or, like, something that's a little higher than where, um, the guests walk. And the guy was just standing there in a position and let everyone walk past, through, and then he just jumped at him. You know, when they're not expecting it, they're like, oh, he's nice and friendly. He's just standing there. No, the truth is he's going to jump out at you as soon as you walk past. So I did think that's a pretty unique scare. Um, something that's more open and wide, and you just don't expect it. My experience with the house. Um, I think it's a pretty normal house. Um, maybe it's long. I know it's like almost seven minutes to go to the house, uh, which isn't. Which isn't bad, but, I mean, in my opinion, I just don't like going through a house that long. Like, uh, you go through a little bit, you think it's the final stretch and that you're done. No, there's a whole other bit of house with, like, two demon heads to the right and left of you. Um, that's pretty alright, and, like, uh, my experience with the strobe lights, that hurt my eyes. I thought it was a bit too long. Although some of the scares are really good, like opening up a panel or window, and then jump at you, scream at you, whatever that is. That's really good. Now, the last thing that I'm going to talk about is a uh, rating of the house. Oh, okay, my mic just fell. A rating of the house. Um, I give it a 7.5 out of 10, just because, um, I mean, it's not my favorite house, but if I had to go through one house instead of another, I'd pick Gates of Hell instead of, like, Infestation or Infested. So that's for sure. Anyway, this is going to end my Haunted House review. If you liked it, go check out some of my other videos. This is Michael, a.k.a. SkyXX148. Roll the intro. <clears throat> Outro. SkyXX148 on the YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe.